show you how to paint this beautiful little owl. This owl was voted on by my subscribers and they asked me to do this owl next and they voted on it and got the most votes. So I'm going to show you how to do the techniques and how I got these beautiful feathers and beautiful eyes and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started painting. So all you need for this painting is your primary colors of red, yellow and blue and cad yellow and cad red and some black and white. And that's all you need for this painting and also the brushes that you need are your bristle brush, one inch, and maybe another smaller one, and some small round brushes, and a flat synthetic brush, and uh, maybe a little filbert brush. And um, so these are the brushes. They can be like these, or if you, you know, whatever you have there, small brushes and, and something to tap on your grass. And so that's it for now. So let's get started painting. Okay, so let's work on some of these here. Now, let's see, let's see. We'll get a shadow, probably a light a brown with a bit of, I don't know, let's try a little bit of red this time. And, because we need to be dark enough so we can see it. Let's move in here so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so let's see, where can we find them? Um, let's see, let's see. Let's put one here. And uh, side by side, and maybe one up here, and a couple down here, side by side. It's like the, the letter W this time, with an extra. So V's, W's, U's, or teardrop. Whatever you find easier to think about. So now we have some more coming down under the belly. Good. So we got, uh, let's see, let's see, maybe one up here. And here and here and here okay and here all right how far down do we want to go now is the thing let's see we go down as far as here And here and here and let's see let's see let's see maybe one more set right here let's work with that much first here we go okay now let's put the white feathers on now fill those in I'll come in a little closer on the top here and make sure you can see it so I'm just going into white and as you can see with the other ones, we're going to need another coat of white, like some of these. Don't, don't worry about that right now. So just fill those in. Pull into that shadow area. Or pull out. Touch and pull. Touch and pull. So some of these are going to be a little bigger than others. And we will do touch-ups when we're finished all this. And we'll pull up, and up, and up. Alright, so we'll go here, here. I'm making them a little bigger because we don't want too much space between them, but... There we go. Might need a few over here. Good. Some more here. Pull out or pull down. Keep a little bit of your shadow there. Here we go. Pull up and up. Okay. 
I'm just touching and pushing a little bit because I want to get that bottom edge there. Okay. Touch, push and pull or touch and pull in and push a little bit. I'm finding you get a little push on the end where the, uh, where the shadow is, it'll give you a nicer edge to it there. So experiment and see what, what kind of a what way you get yours. See, just touch and pull up. Good. Good. There you go. Now, does that look much better now that it has a few little feathers on it? So we have a few more touch-ups, little legs. We'll do something with the legs, we'll do something with the grass, and maybe we'll put um, something over here to fill up that space, you know, a few little things, have a bit of fun with it. All right. So let's have another look at it now and see where else we need some feathers. But you can leave it, you know, if you've got enough on and you're happy with that, you can certainly leave it. I'm just thinking maybe some small ones in between the bigger ones. How's that? So we won't really need to put the shadows on for the smaller ones, but let's just take a small flat brush. A small flat or a small round. Whatever brush you're using to get those feathers on there now. Just use that one. I'm just using a small flat, uh, sorry, a round. It's got a little bit of a tip on it there. To, all right, so now I'm going to pick up some white. And I'm just going to pick some places where I think we could use a few little extras, okay? So I'm just touch, pull, touch and pull. You can even just tap. Tap on some whites like that if you like. Alright, touch, touch, make little tiny ones. And you can even use a, use a toothpick if you want to or the back of your brush just to, to get some on there, okay? Like I'll use the back of my brush to see what that looks like. It might look horrible. I don't want to tell you something that you're not going to like. Oh yeah, you touch and pull, you're good. Yeah, there we go, that's great. Actually, that works better than that works better than the front of the brush. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I'm excited. All right. Yeah. See, I experiment even when I'm doing videos with you because I want to see what's going to happen. And then all of a sudden something good happens. I'm like, I get excited. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are. Okay, so let's go, let's go. Let's see a few more down here. We want little tiny ones too. I don't want too many, you know. I'm just trying to decide what to do with that tail down there. We're going to probably put a few little ones down here because obviously the tail has uh, might even add a little highlight on some of these. Just putting on a little bit of highlights on the ones that are already there. And then I'm going to, because see the white paint, white acrylic paint dries dark. And uh, and what I'm doing is, I'm, if you can see, let me see if I can go in closer for you. I'm going to highlight, while we're putting on these little dots, okay, let's put these little dots in there, and little extra feathers in between, see that? Little extra ones in between, like touch and pull, touch and pull a little bit, or just touch, touch, touch touch the very tip or you can touch the side of your that's the back of the brush now okay now if you rather use uh, if you rather use the front of the brush you go ahead we both we'll use both so I'm going to use the, the front of the brush this time and what I'm doing is I'm taking some of these feathers that we already put on and I'm highlighting just the top I'm leaving the bottoms because I want them to look like shadows underneath okay so just at the very top, just put on a bit more white on just the top of the ones we already did. And we may need to come back and do it again, but think your three values, okay? Think of the values. 
dark, medium, and light. All right, and you can also make make them shape them up even better if you want to. If you got some not shaped properly or don't like the shapes, whatever. A little bit of highlight on top of the ones that you just did. Good. You can leave some darker if you like. That just brings them out a bit more. See that? Just these little touches. All right. So a little bit over here. See, I'm leaving the bottom something darker. I want to get a really good close up of this. All right, let's see. Did it say blurry on you? No good if it's blurry. I'm blurry. So I'm going to pick one that is close up on and I'm going to highlight just a tap. You do that with all of them and then you will get but only the top here. See that? And keep that bottom part there just for shadow. You got your shadow, the dark, and then you got a medium, and then you got a light, okay? That's your three values on one feather. Three values on everything, and you will have a more three-dimensional, more realistic-looking painting, okay? If you, if you do that kind of thing. All right. Don't want to get too blurry on you. won't be able to see what I'm doing. All right, it's coming along pretty good, isn't it? So I'll just add a few more of these little dots, a few more little feathers in between what we already did. Just a few here and there. And a little bit of highlight on the ones we already did. Good. Not very many. Maybe there's a couple of small ones in here. See? And as you're highlighting the bigger ones, you can just tap alongside the little small ones that are that are there. See? That'll make it so much easier for you. Alright. We're getting there. It takes time to do a nice painting. Some of my paintings I did pretty fast and didn't do all the highlights and the details that I would have liked to do. But because um, it makes the video really, really long. So I'm just trying to give you as much basics as I can. And there's a couple of videos I may redo some things with them because I noticed a few things that I could have done better. So I'll be always, always uploading videos and improving ones I already did and taking your requests. Uh, this owl was the, uh, the one that got voted the most when I asked people to vote on a picture that they would like me to do. So this is the one that got voted on. And uh, it's so much fun to do. It's not too bad at all. I just, but I'm doing it, I'm trying to make it as easy as I can for you, okay? Because uh, so cool. All right. Now this area down here, I'm going to leave that dark right here, that separation in that wing here. So you can see that there's a, a wing there. See that separation? That's a dark line. That's all it is when we did it earlier. It's a dark line. So we'll leave that there. And um, I think that's dark enough. What we can do now is to make it look soft right here, just some soft feathers. Let's try, I don't know, let's see, let's see. Let's try some kind of a yellow. Let's make an orangey color. And a bit of white. Let's just see what that does. I got a flat brush here now. And let's just kind of make it feathery looking down here. Just pull, remember those short strokes, touch and pull? Just pull some of those over like that. Touch and pull. Touch and pull. Softens it up a little bit there, see? It should go a little bit closer for you so you can see what's going on there. Let's see, let's see. Now, you know I'm going to have to do this in lessons. It's going to be too long, so I might end up with five or six lessons, okay? 
so I'll put in a playlist for you when they're all up I upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday so if this comes up on a Monday you'll know the next lesson uh, will come up on a Friday okay so I just add a little more white so you'll have to be patient but it'll give you time to look at it and uh, maybe do the first lesson and then continue on with when as, as lessons come up or you can wait for them all to come up and then while you're working on something else and when they all come up they'll be in a playlist and you won't have to go searching for them see all right so that line is there we want to get rid of that line all right i'm putting more white on i had the orangey color on and i'm just putting white over it brighten it up a bit all right i want to get rid of those lines there so i'm just going over those little little kind of kind of uh, little strokes there just to make it look like this just touch them I'm using the chisel edge of my brush hold in your hand as if it's um, horizontal and lay it down and just touch and pull touch tap I don't know uh, let's see just touch and give it a little pull add white to your brush and then just touch and pull and it almost gives you feathers, see? It's kind of cool. That's all right. There we go. Kind of soft feathers underneath there. You know, I haven't seen any. I, I've seen them far away and I've seen videos and stuff, so I don't really know what to like close up and I don't know what you know, I don't know what they all look like underneath uh, some of their wings and things like that. I'm just going to buy pictures and videos and things that I've seen. And when I was visiting some of the zoos and stuff, you see them sitting down. But you can't really see a good shot of them. Um, so next, let's try the feet. Actually, the feet here are buried into this. So we just leave that. So we'll just take this here. And we'll put a, 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 the orangey cream color. Let's see, let's see what color is going to put on that there now. So I'm making my own decisions now, see? I'm saying to you, I wonder what colors I can put on. I'm not saying, oh, the picture says you got to put this color on. I'm making up my own colors, okay? I'm looking at a picture, but I'm not letting the picture make decisions for me. Because I'm like, I'm enjoying doing it doing the colors I want myself and I'm experimenting with my colors I might add a little bit of brown to that and just because you mix the color don't mean you got to keep it you can start over so let's put that on there okay I'm choosing the chisel edge of my flat brush and let that get buried in there now the leg behind might have a shadow so let's add more brown to that color that I just made brownish color because it's more shadowy good and then I'm going to take let me see let me see let me see I'm going to take a little bit of that and pull it over here looks weird let's see what else I can do with that let's see I'm going to put a bit of white on my brush and I'm going to separate those because it doesn't look right. Alright, so I'm just separating them. I had too much shadow on it. But when I get the grass going up around the legs and stuff, we'll... It's a bit better. Okay. A little bit of highlight on the edge here. A little bit better. There we go. I want to get the grass up around it. Look, it'll look pretty good. So we're doing good. Another thing I wanted to mention to you was the. Oh, I got a big shadow there. Another thing I want to mention to you are those 
black eyes. Now, you can make them a bit bigger if you like. If you want the bigger black eyes. The, the black eyes in the picture are bigger. Um, I'm not going to fool around with it now because if I fool up, then it's going to take me a while to fix it and then you got to watch me and get bored. Um, but you can make those uh, black circles bigger if you like. I kind of like them the way they are. I'll have a look at some more owl's eyes if they're bigger. Now maybe it depends on the light. Maybe they get small when they're... Uh, depending on the light. I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight here on the edge. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I find that uh, needs something here. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? So yeah, you can make those circles bigger. I, you know, um, I could do it, make them bigger, but I'm gonna leave it because, um, like I said, if, if I fool around with it now and then I'm, they may, I make them too big and I make them too small and I'm, you know, and I'm trying to fix them up, it'll just fool up the video and it'll take too long. So, I'll just let you know that you can make them bigger. But so far, it doesn't look too bad. But like I say, I always tell people you can make your own adjustments, uh, whatever you think needs more work. I can see a couple of little things there that might help. And a little bit of brown. I can see a little bit. Because that one there is going up. So you want the other side to kind of either bring that one to look like this one or match them up a little better by taking, taking this one and moving it out a little bit and up so that it matches this one a little bit more, hey? Okay? Little things like that, you know? There we go. This is another one I did for just for practice, so it's a bit different. Colors are darker, so I'm not gonna bother with that one. It was just, I had to practice first to make sure I was getting the right shapes. And but this one is cute. Let's work on the grass. 